Hey guys, this is Versatile from Game Dexterity. This is not really a tutorial, but it's more of a proof of concept just to show um, PS2 enthusiasts who have a hard modded or a soft modded PS2. It could be a flat or it could be a slim that using programs like uh, OPL or um, PS2 ESDL, you know, those type of programs, that yeah, you can play games off of certain USB devices fine so let me show you what I'm talking about today I'm just gonna do a showcase of these three devices here this is a Western Digital Elements 500 gigabyte USB powered hard drive and my hard drive actually worked out fine I did not need a Y cable I had some viewers tell me in order to make their external hard drive work they had to get a Y cable which is basically a Y cable that connects to the two front ports USB on the PS2 and then the other end connects to your hard drive because some external hard drives need more power I guess here is just a measly 2 gigabyte flash stick from Kingston it worked out fine and then here is a uh, another setup I have this is just a regular IDE hard drive but I suppose I could use a SATA hard drive too and this is just a connector that connects on the back end and here's the power supply and then not in this picture is I have another external hard drive dedicated external hard drive has its own power supply and we know that works I already showed it in other videos so there's no reason to show it again so what I want to show you guys is that yeah if you have you know a, a device like this maybe you are new to the PS2 scene and maybe you only have a flash stick or maybe you have uh, a, US, a USB powered hard drive and you and you are skeptical you think that all this stuff is BS well I'm here to show you that it's not BS there is hope and I can help you out and this is what this video is for just to open up your eyes a little and then if you got any questions we'll go uh, into that a little bit later but for sake of time let's jump straight into the feature video presentation All right, so here's the first uh, USB device. So this one here is just a, uh, a Kingston 2 gigabyte stick. And we're going to do OPL version 0.8 for all of these videos. So here I just press X, start device. And there's a red star, so let's press X on there. And it will boot, goes through all these different colors. And I know that um, this game works, so that's why I'm using it for... Um, most of this video here. Now, if you want to learn how to rip games or uh, to your flash drives or your external hard drives, please watch the PS2 playlist. All right, so this works, so let's skip to the next portion that shows a different USB device. All right, so here's the second device. Here's my external hard drive, and you, we can clearly see that it is on and is connected. And for those that don't believe, there is no disc in here. All right, so we go back here and we press X, OPL version 0.8. And momentarily, it should show me a list of games. And here we go, we have a Red Star game. So I select that. And then this too will go through the flashing color process. And momentarily, we'll see that the game uh, boots and is working properly. Now, make sure that you defrag your game. You can use programs like, I don't know, Smart Defrag is a good program that I use. If you have a game that is fragmented, it will like hang on the colors here. And uh, sometimes when you rip games to your USB hard drive, they, they just naturally may get fragmented during the process. So it's always a good, de a good idea to uh, defrag your hard drives every time you rip a game. So we know this works, so let's go to the last USB device. And here is the last device. So I'll, I have this external hard drive. Uh, I got it from Xbox. So it was only 8 gigabytes, but it worked fine for this tutorial. Here's a little uh, IDE connector right here. Here's the USB cable. And here is the power supply. And you know, here's a little on and off switch. And here's the power cable, and it goes to the wall. So all I need to do is press X. And here it is. Red Star is recognized. Press X again. And it will momentarily boot it. So like I said, um, all three devices work fine. If you have an issue where a game is frozen, defrag it, or maybe consider the SMB or network sharing method if you have that available for you, or maybe try OPL.7 or try PS2 ESDL. So with that said, let's go straight back to the desktop. 
So my hope is by showing you that, yeah, those three devices work, that it'll make those skeptical guys not so skeptical anymore. And who knows, maybe I just gave you a newfound interest to take a look into, into modding your PS2. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment here on the YouTube page, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.